Hi guys, it's Paul again. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, this is day 14 of my work with Anik Moore and Eglish Regeneration Scheme. Okay, so yesterday we did this squid-like creature from Christopher Ominga's um, artwork. And today we're going to have a go at a quick, very quick puffer fish in the same kind of style. So I'm going to draw the puffer fish here. Uh, no colour, you could probably call it whatever you want, green or something like that. Um, but I'm just going to do it black and white and see how we get on. This should only take, I don't know, about 10 minutes maybe maximum. Okay, so we're going to start with these oversized eyes. Um, which will go down like um, this. Okay, we'll curve it round a little bit more there, but it's not circular. Okay, now we've got a small eye like the squid, um, except this time we've got a little bit of white at the top. Okay, um, across here we've got a smaller eye, again like the squid from yesterday's video. Um, I hope everybody's well in lockdown anyway today. Just had a massive th thunder and lightning storm here. Got drenched putting the, uh, the sofa cushions back in. Okay, so... Um, we've got... Bags under his eyes there. Now, the thing with the puffer fish, this is we're going to do this... Uh, Aminga's artwork, he's, he's done it like uh, it's already got huge because the puffer fish do when, they, when they're scared or they, they puff themselves out. Um, okay, so we're going to have a few spikes on this but not too many, just around the outside edge. Okay, almost look like little mountains here. Okay, and in between here, we're going to get some lines down here. Okay, so again, we're going to continue from here. Small spikes, really small spikes. And we're going to make a big circle, basically, with spikes. Okay. So we we'll just be a little bit careful down here that we get the shape right. We've got a big spike here. We'll go across here. Another big spike. And this goes down. Big spike there. It's going to meet with a couple more smaller spikes on the outside edge of these. Okay, so we're going to put a few more really small spikes on the outside edge. Now, the mouth is a tiny circle like this. Okay, we're going to colour it in the pencil. Now just like this character, um, to make it look circular, Aming has done this as if he's kind of, um, as if this is a, a soft toy that's been stuck together. Um, I've got a mouth like that, okay. Couple of rect small, very small rectangles like that. Another line there. It disappears like that. Okay, so that's pretty much um, all the um, all the the, um, the design. Um, now what we've got to do? I'm going to change my pencil now. I've got a sketching pencil, HP. This one's very hard HB so if you haven't got a sketching pencil you could go for something like a, um, a 2B or something like that okay so we're just bringing a little bit of shade in here now not too much a little bit on this spike here okay um, a couple of these are 
almost black, like they can't be seen behind the body of the animal, body of the fish. Okay, these are black as well. This one's completely white. They've got a bit of shade this side of it. Okay, like that. Um, a bit more shade over here. And then round this top edge, we've got shade underneath the eye. Okay, like we've done with the other character. Nice and dark here. Okay, nice and dark across the top. Shade it in around the eye. Don't want that to firm that line, just soften it up a little bit. Okay, um, again, a little bit softer around this edge here. Around the mouth, okay, like that. All right, um, a bit darker under here, a little bit darker under there, make it look a little bit 3D. Okay, darker on one side, maybe. There we are. Okay, now I've um, got a couple more spikes on the inside of here. This is darker, okay darker section here on that spike um, and then we've got darker behind these spikes here berries there are a bit darker okay okay so that's that's the kind of um, and um, that's the kind of effect we're trying to achieve here um, where we've just got a bit of shade on some of these spikes but not too much okay um, underbelly here Ooh, a bit darker there okay um, and then what a minga tends to do is he tends to draw a few more spikes around some of them really small okay I've got a couple more here um, a couple more spikes down in this area as well okay and one more here all right so um, this is the kind of um, kind of artwork you guys can have a go at. You could always have a go at doing other kinds of creatures as well. Um, sea creatures in a Minga style. These big bulbous eyes he tends to use. Okay, um, so that is our um, um, that is our nod again to Christopher Aminga, the illustrator and DC comic artist um, put a few bubbles around this one like we've done with the squid and um, to suggest it's in the water okay um, and that is our puffer fish okay so have a go at that see how you get on uh, send us some images if you can okay um, and thanks for watching and see you again very soon take care